kind of feel awkward doing this mostly because I haven't done it in a while this is 2nd of March 2022 I had high hopes I still do but I'm learning to manage my expectations So, we're in a new month, month of March 2022, and I should have dropped a lot of content by now, but as you can see, I haven't done that. So, the last video I dropped was in January, if I'm not mistaken. January, and since then, you guys haven't heard anything from me. No podcasts, no YouTube videos, nothing. The major reason why is because I've just been, you know, normally as a creative, those kind of days happen where you just feel like nothing you're doing is making sense like you try 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 like you're putting in the work putting in the effort and then the results are not really there and stuff like that so i was just feeling like underwhelmed oh let's see is it overwhelmed or underwhelmed aisha was not feeling nice it wasn't a nice feeling so i was like in a creative rut like a block of sorts and the fact that i'm shooting this video now means i'm breaking out of that block so there you have it, that's like kind of, it's just like a mental something, it's not as if I, there's, there's a physical reason for me not creating, I've been creating actually, like I have some, <laughs> I have some pretty cool pictures I've taken since January till now, I've worked on a few projects, personal, collaborative and then branded projects, yeah, all of them are on my hard drive, so hopefully you get to see them someday, uh, okay, updates, therapy session, so I skipped, okay, episode 1 of therapy session dropped in January, 2 was supposed to drop in February, but we are in March and episode 2 hasn't dropped, so I think I'm going to make up for it by dropping 2 episodes this March, not I think, I know, because um, episode 2 of the, top, you know the first topic was anxiety, so part 2 rather of that anxiety, which is going to double as episode 2, it's going to be out this March first half of March and then the second half of March um, we're going to be talking on another we're going to be taking another topic rather I've not decided who yet but I have a friend who's very interested and she's going to help me with the third episode which will be dropping second half of March uh, that's it for therapy session and then okay like I said I worked on a couple of projects here and there nothing too serious some of if you're following me on Instagram you may have seen clues or hints around the place but that's basically it uh i wrote, <laughs> I, wrote I wrote something that i was like how am i feeling oh i'm in a perpetual state of omo because country country is just useless there was the time i posted on my story that i was going to ask uh, answer questions rather so i dropped like two q a stickers and many of you responded so today I have those answers, I mean the questions, the question they call them now. I have those questions with me today. I answered some of them on my story, but there were some that I marked to like answer here. So <laughs> Okay. There's a question here, it says Would you say it's because of your environment and the people you met that got you where you are? Or was it all you? Or more? It said um it takes a village it takes a village you can't get anywhere on your own you have to go with people so absolutely i'm here because the people i've met the thing the decisions i've taken the friends i've come across along my journey so they are the ones that brought me here if not only me i have not reached anywhere recently um my friend mark he has been very helpful to me like situations where i would need a bigger studio than my own he's always there he's like no other anytime i take and that's has been of big help to me. His camera, anytime I need it, he's always like, fine, bro, here you go. So those are the kind of things we need as creatives, you understand? Cameras are expensive. Whether to buy or to rent, they are freaking expensive. So imagine having a network of friends where you guys trust each other to the point where I can say, okay, I'm not going to be around this week. Here's my camera. Use it for whatever. Why? Because I know if I come back, my camera will be intact. Uh, there's the level of trust that we've built as friends and as creatives so i can easily say okay take my camera go and do what you need to do and then bring it back to me no harm no foul as opposed to me thinking okay now only me did this game to go and source for money to rent for car and imagine if it's like a personal project where you're not being paid 
So you need help. You need people around your corner. You guys help each other out because at the end of the day, that's what will push you guys to the top. Uh, another question says, what um, softwares or application would be good for like a beginner editor? I'll assume it's for pictures. Okay, yeah, you said for pictures, yeah. So um, basically Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom, that's like standard for starting out. Even professionals, like top people in their top level of their game, they use Lightroom. So if you can understand how to use Lightroom, you're good to go. I, I just swiped the question. How old are you? I'm 22. Yeah. Another question. How were you able to afford your gear? Hmm. If you follow my YouTube, you would know I dropped a video about my dad and my family being supportive of my career and all that. So my gear, mostly I was able to afford all of them with the help of my father. And then there are some of the items in my camera bag that I also purchased through hard work and diligence. <laughs> It is a work hard. hard. Hard work pays. It may not pay. It won't pay immediately. That's for sure. But it will eventually pay. Whoever tell you say hard, whoever tell you say hard work, no, they won't. You know they pay. They pay. You just have to stick with it. Perseverance. Consistency. Consistency. That's key. Uh, next question. Do you still kick yourself when you take a bad shot? Have you met me? <laughs> I can be working on a project where Every other person is feeling the project except me. That's how I, I, I do it. Not that like it's not good. Though. Like it's okay. Sometimes I can take a picture and like click and like, hey Jesus, like I'm the best in the world. Like nobody can stop me. And all that I'll be hyping myself. And then other days I'll take a picture and everybody's like, guy, guy. I mean I'm like <laughs> You know that you know that papa meme where he's just sitting down at the corner. <laughs> That's literally my reaction to everything. And for the entire shoot, I may not even feel a single moment. Unless maybe I start getting into the vibe. But it's it's still like that. So it's normal. And yes, I do. I feel bad when I don't get the shot I want. Something like that. Uh, another question. Any advice for the young gen? Baba Hosulu. Hosulu, that's the only advice. Hosulu, pray to God. Do, what, do the right thing. Just do what you are doing. No send anybody. Because people always have opinions about what you are doing. So I feel like if you are true to yourself true to your hustle nothing illegal please i beg we, we only we only sanction legal stuff over here <laughs> so pick your hustle if you're a painter paint if you're an architect design buildings draw whatever if you're if you can sew so my younger brother is a tailor he makes hoodies and combat trousers and stuff like that and he's very good at it if that is your hustle guy by all means stick to it hustle go pay yeah so if you have any other question after this video, you can drop it in the comment and I'll make sure I add a reply to that question. But either way, this has been great. I feel like I'm getting back into it. Uh, by the time you watch this video, what am I saying? Anyhow, you can go watch them, I'm go see. So uh, anticipate some personal projects, some um, branded projects coming out. Um, as soon as I get clearance to post, I will scatter everywhere with the pictures. Believe me, I'm very proud of my work. I'm very, very proud of my work. So by the time I get approval, I'm going to see everything. And then, uh, like, I keep I keep saying this thing. Collaboration is, like, a big part of who I am. So if you have any ideas for projects you think I would be useful to you on, always send a DM, drop it in the comment section, whatever. And um, a big and special shout-out to Uncle Khalil of Calligraphy Studios. On my story, I posted that I was at his place last week, and just I did I didn't even spend up to three minutes talking to him. But the words he said to me, they were like uh, it was like something in my brain was like, "Guy, see, there are people who still believe in you. So, in as much as you feel down, stand up, run am, run am, guy, like power through it." So I'm very grateful for people like him in my corner, and he's the reason why I decided to just stand up and run this thing. Not in there, so run am, guy. Not in there, so. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Subscribe now because when I blow, I know go the beg on I'm gonna subscribe. I go see beg sure. Now and then. I'm gonna subscribe now. I'll drop the links on my socials everywhere. I'll probably make a short video short form of this video to post on my Instagram. So anywhere you see my face, there's one red button next to it. Subscribe, just click it. <sighs> Thank you guys for attending my TED talk. And with that, I'll see you next week. Or wherever it is, I see you.
Oh god, this is not easy. You know, easy. I'm afraid to stand up because I'm recording in my boxers, so I'll just cut it here. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>